Throughout history, several ninjas have become extremely famous due to their powers, such as Minato, Hashirama, Madara, and many others. However, there are also powerful and feared ninjas that are little known by fans. For this reason, in this video we will present the strongest ninjas that you don't know. Before you start, please leave your like, because by doing this YouTube will understand that you like our videos and will always send you the channel's news. Welcome to the Nerd Ficando channel. Especially in Naruto Shippuden, we were introduced to several ninjas from all the villages. Many of these ninjas were powerful, but for some reason the anime left these characters aside, causing most fans to forget about them. But rest assured, if Kishimoto left them out, we won't. So follow along until the end of this video to get to know the strongest and most feared ninjas that were forgotten in the anime. Baki. Starting our list, we have Baki, the Sand Village Chunin who appeared during the Chunin exam in Kanoha. During the Chunin exam arc, he showed himself to be someone respected by the entire Sand Village. After all, it is clear that the Sand Village would not put just anyone to lead Garistin during the attack on the Leaf Village. One moment when Baki proved to be very strong was during his pursuit of Hei 8, one of the strongest Jounin in Kanoha. After catching up with him, the two had a fight in which Baki showed great speed and endurance, as not even Hei 8's sword could make a deep cut on him. After this fight, we expected him to have an important participation in Orochimaru's invasion, but it seems that Kishimoto didn't want to give him importance. In Naruto Shippuden, Baki simply didn't have any more battles and stayed as a kind of advisor for the Sand Village. Anyway, it is likely that Baki was one of the strongest ninja of the Sand Village and even considered to be the fifth Kazakage, but unfortunately, he was left aside and ended up not even appearing in the fourth ninja war. Today we don't know if he's alive, but what we do know for sure is that it will be difficult for him to appear again. Ebisu. Surprisingly, Ebisu is a figure present in this list. In case you don't remember, he was the John Neen of Kanoha responsible for training Kanoamaru's team. Many people underestimate him, since whenever he appeared on the scene, he seemed weak. However, Ebisu is a very respected John Neen in the village. Ebisu was tasked with training the third Hokage's grandson, Kano Amaru, demonstrating his importance. In addition, Kakashi chose him to train Naruto. According to Kakashi himself, Naruto could rest assured that Ebisu was an even better teacher than he was. This shows how much Ebisu was respected, even by Kakashi. This proves how strong Ebisu was, because at that point, Naruto was one of the ninjas with the most potential in Kanoha. Clearly, Kakashi would not leave Naruto in the hands of just anyone. However, in Naruto Shippuden, Ebisu was left aside and did not even participate in the ninja war. Still, he remains one of the strongest jounin of that era. Even though he had an important role as a teacher Ebisu ended up becoming a mere extra and we never saw him in action. Biwa Juzo. Juzo is a strong and interesting character but a little forgotten by the fans, since he appeared only in flashbacks. He was one of the greatest renegades of the Mist Village and chosen as one of the seven Mist Swordsmen, carrying the Kubakira Bocho, an iconic sword. Juzo was also recognized by Pain himself, who recruited him into Akatsuki, where he proved to be a great partner alongside Itachi. Despite his strength, he eventually died to the fourth Tsuchikage, who had to use the Bijou Chakra Cloak to defeat him. Juzo was quite strong, but is not recognized much due to lack of exploration in the anime. Senju Butsuma. Butsuma may not be a household name, but he was one of the most important shinobi of his time. The father of Tobarama and Hashirama, his DNA proves his strength. During his time, Butsuma was one of the most important ninja in the war against the Uchiha, probably leading the Senju. He was one of the Senju's main forces against the Uchiha, making him one of the most feared and respected ninjas of the time. Uchiha Taijima Taijima was the father of Madara and Izuna, and the greatest rival of Butsuma, Hashirama's father. He led the Uchiha and always fought against the Senju, seeking victory for his clan. Taijima was probably the strongest man in the Uchiha clan at the time. 
Despite his importance, both he and Butsuma are not as well known by fans. Uchiha Kagami Kagami is also little known, but he was still one of the strongest ninjas of the Leaf Village. Kagami was among the ninja led by Tobarama Senju in the first ninja war. We saw almost nothing of his power, but at one point, Hiruzen and Shursui were talking and Hiruzen mentions that Shursui was as skilled a ninja as Kagami. However, in response, Shursui says that he wasn't even at his feet yet. Look at how moral the guy was. Furthermore, Kagami was one of the few Uchiha who managed to escape the curse of hatred, because Kagami was such a good Uchiha that he was always admired not only by Hiruzen, but also by Tobarama and Danzu. Pakura. Pakura was one of the strongest kunoichi in the entire sand village. Unfortunately, we only got to see her in action as an Edo Tensei in the Ninja War, but even so, the anime told the story of how she became a hero of the sand village. She had been sent on a mission to put an end to the plans of the stone village, which at that time was in conflict with the sand. Surprisingly, Pakura succeeded in her mission alone, without needing anyone's help. This led to her being hailed as the hero of the sand. However, her village came into conflict with the Mist Village, and the fourth Kazakage sent Pakura on a mission to make a peace agreement with them. But, in fact, Pakura was betrayed by the Kazakage. This was a suicide mission that he had planned. Upon arriving there, the Mist Ninjas were ordered by Raza to kill Pakura. The Kazakage used her as a bargaining chip to enter into a peace agreement with the Mist. Does anyone there know what good this guy did? Seriously, to me, next to Danzu, Raza is one of the worst characters in the anime. Still, Bakura was one of the strongest kunoichi of the sand thanks to her heat Kikiai Genkai, which mummifies opponents, seriously, this power is very appealing. Despite being very strong, Bakura is not very famous among fans because she only appeared in the anime as an Edo Tensei. Kitsuchi Moving on to Kitsuchi, I'm sure many of you don't even remember him anymore. Kitsuchi is Anoki's son and Kuratsuchi's father. With that bloodline alone we realize that he is really amazing. Do you remember that in the fourth ninja war, the Shinobi Alliance selected five ninjas to be division commanders? Well, Kitsuchi was so strong that he was assigned to be the commander of the second division. And not just anyone can become a commander, next to him were none other than Kakashi, Gara, Mifune, the leader of the Iron Country, and Darui, who would later become the fifth Reikage. Just by being around these people, Kitsuchi was probably among the ten strongest ninja in the alliance at that time. However, despite being a very strong ninja and respected by the Shinobi Alliance, Kitsuchi ended up doing almost nothing during the ninja war. It would be great if we could see a little more of his powers. But still, it is a fact that he is very strong. Uzumaki Ashina Ashina Uzumaki was the leader of the Uzumaki clan during the time when Hashirama and Madara were active. He was extremely powerful, leading a clan known for its longevity and powerful abilities. Ashina was an expert in Fuinjutsu, Jutsu of Sealing, and was also skilled with two swords. Despite his position as the leader of a famous clan, we know very little about him. Among all these ninjas, Kagami is the one I would like to see more use made of. And you, which of these ninjas would you like to see explored more? Comment below so we can discuss it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow our Naruto videos. Enable the little bell to receive notifications and do not leave this magnificent work behind. Two videos are playing on the screen, watch them and you'll like them.